Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're diving into plugins on the Steam Deck. In case you don't already know, plugins are small add-ons that can tweak, enhance or totally change how your Steam Deck works, ranging from quality of life improvements to things like custom UI features. I'll walk you through the setup step by step and then I'm going to show you some of my personal favorites that I think every Steam Deck user should know about. So let's get started. This tutorial is easier with the mouse and keyboard but it can be done using the touch pads and touch screen. And the first First thing that we need to do is go into desktop mode. Once you're in desktop mode, go to your browser of choice and type into Google the words Decky Loader. If you're not using a keyboard, then remember you can press Steam plus X to open up the virtual keyboard to type this in. Now there are a few places to get the program and when I got it for the very first time, you had to go through the GitHub page, but nowadays they have their own website, which is decky.xyz. Go into here and then on the top right, click download. By default, this will go into your downloads folder on your Steam Deck. And it looks like this, decky underscore installer dot desktop dot download. Double click on this and then click execute. Now at this point, the installer is going to ask you for your sudo password. If your Steam Deck is new or you've just never installed something like this that requires a sudo password before, then you might not actually have one of these yet. If that's the case, then close the decky loader installer, press the start menu and go into console. and then type password where it's P-A-S-S-W-D. Now it's asking me to change my password because I've already got one, but if you don't have one, then it will prompt you to enter and confirm your pseudo password. Now, once you've picked a pseudo password, you've confirmed it. Once it's set up, then we can go back and launch the Decky installer file again and enter the pseudo password when prompted. You'll now be given the option for release or pre-release. I always go with release, so let's click that for now and the installation will begin. Once completed, it will prompt you that the installer can now be closed and from here, we'll go back into game mode. So once we're back in game mode, how do we access all of the plugins? Well, press the three dots button on the Steam Deck and you'll see a new icon at the bottom, which looks like a plug. Click on here and then you'll see two more buttons. One, which is gear for settings and one which looks like a stall. This one takes you to the marketplace. And from here, you can browse the list of plugins that are available to install on your Steam Deck. I'm gonna go through some of my favorite plugins and we'll just use one now as an example of how to install them. I'm gonna search for how long to beat. And you can see after I do the search that this one has popped up. Click install and once finished, it will take you back to the side menu and you can see HLTB for deck has been added to the list of installed plugins. And so by default, when you now go into a game on your Steam Deck, the stats appear on the bottom like this. It shows a few different stats on how long it takes a game to beat, whether you're going after just the story or a bit of side content, or if you're a full completionist and I really like this when I start a new game I like to know going into it roughly how long I can expect it to take. So that was how you install plugins on your Steam Deck. Now I'm going to go through the rest of my favorites and generate just some plugins that you might want to grab for your Steam Deck. Proton DB badges. This one is similar to the how long to beat plugin but it shows the Proton DB grading right there next to the game allowing you to see at a glance how compatible it will be when trying to launch it on a Linux machine. The next one is called Magic Black and this is most useful if you've got an OLED, it allows you to set the screen to all black, which on an OLED effectively turns off all pixels. And this comes in handy if you're doing a big install and you don't want the Steam Deck screen to be on the entire time. The next one is just called Bluetooth. And I like this one because it allows you to manage your Bluetooth devices from the side menu instead of having to go deeper into the Steam settings. So it's a better way to manage devices on the fly. Then a more specific version of that is called Controller Tools. This lets you see specifically your controllers that are connected by Bluetooth 
Bluetooth and it gives you a bit more information on them, things like remaining battery and the charging status. It will sometimes show some Bluetooth mice and keyboards, but it works best with mainstream console controllers. Next one up is Magic Pods. I use this all the time. It's similar to the Bluetooth plugin, but this lets you manage your AirPods specifically. And that includes being able to see the battery of the left AirPod, the right AirPod and the case. And it even lets you switch between the different noise control features the AirPods have. So whether you want noise isolation on or not. And then one feature that I really like with this is a low battery notification. So when you close the AirPods back into the case, the Steam Deck will can pop up to say, you know, you've got less than 30% battery left, which actually is a feature that I wish they had on the iPhone. And finally, three plugins that are all about customization and personalizing the look of your Steam Deck. The first one is Animation Changer, and this allows you to customize the boot and suspend screen. We can do this already by default on Steam Deck, but the store is fairly limited, and this gives you plenty more options if you want more. Steam Grid DB is next. The main feature that I use from this plugin is the ability to change the artwork for the games that you have on your Steam Deck. I really like this feature, it's really cool. There's loads of great art that has been submitted to this plugin, so you can customize your games page however you want. And then finally, CSS Loader allows you to use custom themes across your entire Steam Deck. It's got its own store here that you can click the download icon to see all of the themes. There's loads available. I don't go too over the top of this at the moment, I'm just using three themes with CSS Loader, and that's Clean Game Launch, Clean Game View, and Round to adjust how my Steam Deck looks, and I, and I really like it like this. And that that's it. Hopefully this helps you to get started with plugins on your Steam Deck and maybe even introduce you to a few new favorites. Don't forget to like the video if you found it helpful and check out the rest of the channel. I've got loads more Steam Deck content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.